What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Burndown YouTube channel. And this bad boy is the Winnebago. So this is a 1972 Winnebago Indian that I transformed into the Winnebago. It is 22 feet of glorious, glorious magic. It is powered by a six liter junkyard motor um, with a junkyard 4L80E transmission. It's got the original drive shaft that was shortened, uh, new U-joints because we want to try to do burnouts with it and not knock them out of the thing. So hopefully those stay intact. Um, it has radial uh, tires on it on a radial rim, which is kind of unique because this is a five lug pattern. And yeah, if you have a Winnebago, you know the struggle finding those. So that is phenomenal. Um, quick mention on some of the sponsors on board. Granitelli Motorsports over here on this side. We've got a four inch electronic cutout. So we can party out front. We want to shut it down and talk to each other and have passengers and whatnot. I've got a two inch exhaust running all the way back. Flip of a switch, she goes from mild to wild. Molly USA killed it with all the pieces and parts I need to rebuild my good old junkyard motor. I did have it freshened up um, and it has a set of forged Molly pistons in here to handle the boost those little 61 millimeters are throwing at it. We've got War Performance, provide the throttle body, uh, all kinds of technical little goodies doodads things problem solving stuff all day long uh, and they also furnished the trailblazer ss intake manifold uh, that is on the twin Bago as we speak crower came through uh, they originally gave me a regrind cam it didn't have the chop shop i wanted so we ended up putting a sloppy stage 2 cam in but i still have the rest of the valve train components namely the springs and the trunnion kit upgrade from crower champion cooling systems gotta love champion cooling systems uh, I actually have a radiator in here for a Dodge 440 because this is a Dodge chassis and I just had to kind of do a little poo poo with a couple of the tabs and it actually bolted down and bolted in. So we are running Champion Cooling Systems radiator on board, keeping things nice and cool. Last but certainly not least, big shout out to Slop Mechanics. Um, they provided a wiring plug and play solution for the Terminator X Max to make this bad boy run on E85. So this is a flex fuel vehicle. We can run on E8591 or whatever garbage we decide to put in it. We're trying to make it out to events and she's sucking back on the juice. And uh, yeah, she likes to do that. So that is it. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comment section. Uh, it was roughly a two year project. Thank you guys for following along. Big shout out and thank you to all the sponsors for believing in me, a small channel, and my crazy idea of building this thing. Last but not least, I have to give credit where credit is due. This thing would not be alive, driving, running around without fuel injection sucks. They have, I believe it is a Chieftain, it's the bigger version with a single turbo. I giggled so hard when I saw that video, I was like, I can do that. I can make one of those a reality. And here you are. Now there's a couple twin turbo, or a couple turbo Winnebago's I should say, running around the planet. Mine's twin turbo, I believe there's the single. Maybe one day we can get those things together like peanut butter and jelly. But until then, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching. I'm out.